What's going on, Spotskaholics? Welcome back to good old Spotska. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys my personal ranking for my top 10 favorite figures in my collection based on sentimental value, but also shelf presence. You know, when I wake up in the morning, what do my eyes first look at? What inspires me the most as an artist? So with that being said, kick back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So kicking things off here with number 10, we have the Clone Trooper gifted to me by Mrs. Spotska. Absolutely love this thing. This thing is sick. If you've ever owned a Clone Trooper before, it's pretty straightforward, you know, what to expect. But the shiny, if you will, aesthetic to this one, absolutely incredible. Uh, love the face one helmet with this and the uh, weapons and the backpack. This thing is a killer release, man. Uh, definitely top 10 releases out of this year for me, 100%. Coming in at number 9, I have the KX Enforcer droid. Now, the KX security droids in Star Wars are probably my favorite style of droid, so this was a must-have for me. This is pretty much just a K2SO repaint, but that's okay with me. The die cast on the arms and the legs make this thing just, I don't know, feel so much more quality, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, dude, this thing's incredible. If you haven't picked up K2SO or KX droid, do yourself a favor and pick one up, especially if you're a fan of Jedi Survivor. Uh, I'm hoping that they make a beige one down the line. Coming at number eight, they have the Darth Maul. Now, some people prefer the Sideshow Darth Maul. I am in the fence that prefers the Hot Toys, man. This is one of Hot Toys' best releases, in my opinion. This is one of their older releases and really, like, kind of put a perspective on how DX changes have really released over time, right? Like, this thing was sick. It came with the speeder bike. It came with uh, the robe, a different head sculpt. Yeah, this thing's incredible, man. Um, definitely one of my favorite figures to pose up. Super poseable. Head sculpt to Ray Parks. Awesome. So coming in at number seven, we have Count Dooku, man. Now, Christopher Lee, man, what an iconic actor and just human being in general. And this is one of Hot Toys' best head sculpts, I think, especially for, like, their older gentlemen. They really know how to get down the wrinkles. Um, the tailoring on the capes are really nice. It feels like this, like, suede leather material. I love posing this guy, even though I kind of keep this guy in the same pose. Almost like uh, he's about to battle Yoda or Battlefront Two kind of pose going on here. But, yeah, sick figure, man. And we got Chrome Mando, the one that we all had to replace uh, from our original release. And, you know, for good reason. This thing's incredible. Uh, top top five releases. Uh, that came out this year, right? Maybe last year? I think it came out February. Uh, definitely one of my favorite figures in the collection, man. This thing just pops. I, I cleaned mine up, courtesy of Nick Collectibles for helping me out there. Uh, absolutely love this thing. This thing's incredible. Uh, sounded like a broken record, I know, but... Carl Mando, man, if you uh, remove the fat suit, you get some crazy, crazy poses with that. So coming up next, I have the DX-19 Batman. And this is one of those figures you just kind of leave it in a museum posing because you can't get too crazy with it. But man, oh man, is it beautiful. I grew up on Christian Bell's Batman. Robert Pattinson is personally my favorite Batman, but this one is just the one I had as a child, man. It gives me right back to those memories of going to see The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises in theaters. And I absolutely love this thing. This thing's incredible. If you haven't picked this thing up, pick this up this is a great pairing with another figure that's going to be on this list later down the line so great figure so coming up next i had to kind of cheat here guys because this release is incredible it's the boba fett on throne if you don't own a boba fett currently and you're on the fence of which one to pick up because they recently just released the book of boba fett version this is the superior version in my opinion man if, if you are looking for a Boba Fett that has a mixer of that Tuscan Raider-esque, but also still badass bounty hunter aesthetic, this one's perfect. And the throne is worth the price of the figure alone. And the Finnick is a great pairing. Definitely one of the uh, cornerstones in my collection for sure. If I had to pick up another Boba Fett, I'd probably go with the Arena Fett, to be honest with you guys. I'm just a big fan of the War for the Bounty Hunter storyline. And yeah, this is a sick release. Speaking of sick releases, man, this Cad Bane in Toto 360 from uh, the Book of Boba Fett. One of the best figures of the year, if not the best Star Wars release of the year. This thing is incredible. I cannot get enough of looking at this thing in the collection. When we saw the blogger photos of this, I don't think any of us expected it to be as good of a sleeper hit as it is, right? Uh, if you didn't pick up the one with Toto 360, you're missing out, man. Uh, definitely wait for the deluxe version if you can. Love the details on the face, man. You, you get a lot with this release. This is a, definitely a slept-on release if you haven't picked it up. So, yeah, love this thing. So coming into second to last place here, guys, I have the Dark Side Anakin Skywalker. Now, I did not pick up the new Artisan release. I think this one works just fine. I think it's still goaded. I still think that this figure is incredible. I'm somebody who likes to have the hood up on their Anakins because it reminds me of the Jedi Temple March scene. So definitely going to stick some 501st with them can't get enough of this guy uh, i waited so long to pick him up just because he was so expensive so 
little annoyed that they had the artisan release like right after picking it up <laughs> and then coming in last place dude uh you already knew it was gonna happen the nr joker man i holy crap i slept on this thing for so long and upon getting back into my dc kind of phase man i wow definitely my favorite figure in any thing i've ever gotten ever the level of quality on the bars the bench the wood base the level of detail on the sculpt everything about this figure is is immaculate i have no complaints the hands seamless do beautiful everything about this thing is it should be the standard for figures going forward i think 100 percent so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, I just did my first episode of Collecting from the Book of Spotchka with Reverse EO and Austin Nicholas the other day. Go ahead and check that out. We talked about a few different movies and shows and whatnot, of uh, what possible figures we'd want to get made, and I'm going to start doing that series every Wednesday at 6 p.m. So y'all take it easy and have a good one and drink your damn Spotchka. <laughs>